Ladies and grasshoppers, it is time for another exciting episode of Weeknight Update with Ellie Miller. It's directed by Cinderama, and it's produced by The Camera Lady, and association by The Camera Man, with performances by The Color Beauty Crew and Evo Amber, with partners by Tom Allen. Edward Scott and Rebel Wilson, with his co-host Elia Mueller. So, without further ado, let's get the show on the road. Aloha! I wonder what's coming up next. Let's see. Oh, we've got a weeknight update with Ellie Mueller. Then the morning show starting、uh, Rebel Wilson. And extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come at Nick and Night. Aloha. What the gorgeous YouTube dog show? And yes, bring your sticker bars, sticker bars, and help you laugh louder. Wait, that makes any sense? Oh, here we go anyway. It's week love, they were telling you. About stickers, <laughs> it makes sense. It all makes sense now, Mr. Ellie Gardi Mueller. Ha! Welcome to Week Nine Update. I'm Ellie Gardi Mueller. What's up? What's up? Come on and fight, Tom Allen. Hey, boss, what's up? Nothing much. Tom, what's up with you? Nothing much. I am ready for the weekend. <laughs> yeah, me too. Still got fans. This show up though. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Cool. So, are you ready for another episode of Week Nine? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah. The theme song was composed by Dominic Madness Piano. The cover being crew, the camera lady, and the cameraman. He won the Grammy Award in 2004. Mom, Chaka, and Christian Frey are responsible for most of the things that you will see in here on this program tonight. And they are all of our shows for that one last night. So please check all those people out. Also, while you're at it,、uh, please make sure that you watch their video because let me tell you something. Now, I know that、uh, you folks、uh, enjoy watching、uh, this program, but let me tell you something. Those people are incredible. <laughs> I mean, they are truly incredible. They have been on this、uh, show for quite some time now, and let me tell you something: they have been getting better and better and better every single day. So, please check all those people out. Please make sure you subscribe to their channel and make sure that you、uh, watch their videos and like their videos and all that good stuff. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's someone who is incredibly cool: my twin sister Ellie. Hello, Elia. Hello, brother. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Hey, you made it through your first week as Week Nine Update official co-host. How do you feel? I feel great. I really learned a lot from this show this past week. Hey, you stay、uh, here,、uh, Elia, because you are going to learn a lot more as time goes on. Really? Oh yeah. You are going to learn everything there is to know about doing a late night show like this. Is this a real late night show? <laughs> yes, indeed. You no, know, it's hard to believe, but it is. That's groovy. Hey, I wonder what's up. Well, we're about to、uh, do it right now. You just got to uh, introduce uh, the segment. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to find out what's up. There you go. There you go. Yes. What is up? 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 Bum 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 bum. What's up with Snickers? A Halloween candy—that's good. 
When you are going through a hard time, it can help. The Eminem mascot appeared in a commercial for Snickers uh, once upon a time. No! No! The world is screwed! No! 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 Eminem's mascot, stay here with the uh, Eminem. Snickers, where's your mascot? teamed up with a fortune teller to predict who will win the NFL season. Now this is just ridiculous. Now it reminds me of what uh, someone once said a long time ago. You know, someone uh, you know, came up to me and said, Hey, Ellie, uh, Snickers told me who my next uh, girlfriend would be. And I'm like, well, uh, dude, uh, will you please tell me who your next girlfriend is going to be? And he said, uh, sure. Uh, it's going to be a woman who lives in a garbage can down by the lake. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? And he's like, hey, talk to Snickers. And that's why we don't let Snickers predict anything. What do you think, Elia? That one actually... You really think so? <laughs> yeah, that was really funny. <laughs> Why, thank you. Thank you very much. I've been working hard on that. Well, your hard work has paid off. Hey, is it time for another top eight list? Well, MP is ready to go, so yeah. Does everybody know what time it is? Is it time for something that involves a weeknight update? That's correct. It's time for our top eight. Yeah, top eight to know what the top eight things are. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the top eight is going to be this time. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. Well, Ellie's going to figure it out. Yeah, Tom, it's absolutely so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Take it away, Ellie! yee Boss! Boss and sister! It is time for another Top 8 list. And I got a great category for you. Tonight's category, Top 8 things that you can't find in the Snickers bar. Number 8, rocks. Number 7, sticks. Number 6, shoes. Number 5, bricks. Number 4, socks. Number 3, eggshells. Number 2, leaves. And number 1, some straw. Well... That was weird. Thanks a lot, MP. You know what's going on? Hashtag week not there. Hashtag got no plate now. Hashtag got no for those two. Hashtag for the world. Hashtag got the world. You know what's going on? Goodbye, right? Like the thing. Subscribe, ring the bell, share it, and shout in the comment section down below. But what we do, do not go anywhere. We'll be right back. We're having Scott's special living. Watch what's his wood fire. This week's count of week winner. By the way, yes, I did find this week's count of week winner. We'll find out who that person is later on. And, and of course, a moment for everyone and the ever so popular talking time. Plus a bunch of other surprises. So, watch these tomorrow shows and then we'll be right back with the rest of the show. This show is still called Week Not Day. Now here it is, your Bob Light. Story time. As he squeezed the melons, he pictured them as the hearts of his enemies. Cindy, you love your new carpeting, don't you? Well, what if I told you Mrs. Applegate down the street got the same carpeting from Empire, only she got polyfoam padding included, no extra charge. Plus, she got professional installation included, no extra charge from Empire. And Cindy, Mrs. Applegate got a credit plan that gives her 60 days to make her first installment payment, no extra charge from Empire. Plus, she got her carpeting delivered and installed within 72 hours, no extra charge from Empire. Plus, she got a choice of a shampoo or a telephone, no extra charge from Empire. And Mrs. Applegate did all her shopping without leaving the comfort of her own home. No extra charge from Empire. How do you feel about all that, Cindy? Oh, I don't mind, really. Empire gives you first quality brand name carpeting from $6.95 a yard installed with padding and no extra charges. Call us right now.
two, three hundred Empire. We're waiting for your call. just did that. Yeah, I guess it's for evil's sake. Well, that's no excuse for what they did. Yeah, you could totally say that again. <laughs> guys, guys, listen. Have I got a secret to tell you? Well, don't hold it back. Yeah, I mean, come on. Well, I heard today that the evil Care Bears are now in the evil prison. <gasps> no, really? Oh, how good of that. Well, I must say, I don't blame DLR and the rest for doing that. You're absolutely right. And it's all the fault of those evil F-R-E-A-K-S. Yes, them by doing evil things, I mean, they cannot absolutely do well of them. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and listen, you guys, this is a laughing matter from them. Hmm. I, yes, you're right. We Care Bearers have to totally respect each other of our dignity. Their disgrace is what they have for them, and they deserve it. That's true, yeah, yeah, 100% true. Although, I do not want to absolutely chit-chat with them. Oh, yeah, same here. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, then, do you want to absolutely do something? Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's absolutely go do something together. in America. That's right. An episode of Special Delivery a day can prevent the heart from flying away. That actually makes sense. Thank you, Elia. You're welcome. Hey, let's see what the Mortal vs. Multi Choir has in store for everyone. That's a good idea. Oh, 
Muff, that was Muff. Yeah, hey, what's with the uh, problems of the week, now? That's a good question, Elia. You see, every week I ask a question on my uh, community tab. You know what? Every week I make a new post with a new question. And every week, all the people at home you know, will have an opportunity to answer the question. And if I pin the uh, best response, then that person becomes the winner of the Count of the Week challenge. Awesome! Hey, is it time to find out who uh, this week's Count of the Week winner is? Yes, it is! Let's find out together! Hey there, everybody! Officer Tanticos here! And do you know what time it is? That's right! It's time for the comment of the week to know who wins at today's question of his community tab post. So, Ellie, take it away! Officer Tanticos, thank you very much. How do you fix a broken heart? That was this week's Count of the Week question. Here are this week's responses. Anthony Short does pop culture as an opening, said a hug and a kiss. William Charles Beanham, the cartoon fan, said by giving it a hug and a kiss. Same thing. Jazz Ratchet and Clank said a big hug. Olivia, the Pokemon fan 2013, said by showing empathy and love. And finally, Talk to Me, Feel Official, said I talk things over with them. And then uh, we try to solve the problem. And then I would give that person a hug. Top the Reefy Official, you have won this week's Count of the Week Challenge. Next week we'll try it again, but I gotta say this. I'm glad that a lot of people participated this week. And that has been the comment of the week. So, we would like to absolutely move on on whatever is next. So, over and out. Congratulations to Todd the Reefy Official! Yes, 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 yes! Woo! Elia, what time is it? It's time for a moment for everyone! Yes, it is! Hey, Rebel! Do you know what time it is? Uh, no, the camera lady. What time is it? Well, Rebel, it's time for a moment for everyone! I wonder what Ellie is going to say this time. Well, we're about to find out right now. Yeah, so take it away, Ellie. Yeah, Ellie. Love you, my smoochie poo. It has been a crazy week. Some moments uh, weren't uh, so good. So for some people and for others, well, let's just say that was a walk in the park. But let me tell you something. You can't give up. Because if you give up, then the best things in life will never come to you. So whatever you do, please do not give up. And also, make sure that you uh, do things right the first time around. You know, granted, you know what, everybody makes mistakes here and there, but let me tell you something. You can prevent the uh, mistake from happening by learning how to do things right the first time around. And also, when it comes to communicating with others, Perfection is key. And one final note before we uh, move on. Try not to uh, think so much. You know, it helps to think, yes, but at the same time, if you think too much, then you're going to say the wrong thing. So, whatever pops into your mind, before you uh, say it, think, but don't think too much. And... Now, if it's a good uh, thing to say, then you can say it, but if it's a bad thing to say, then don't say it. Isn't that right, Elliot? That's right! Hey, you know what I'm thinking about right now? 
what are you thinking about? I'm thinking about having a little talking time. Well, guess what? It is time for us to have a little talking time. So, let's do it! Do you know what time it is? That's right, it's talkie time where Ellie talks about something. So, let's talk about it! <laughs> Folks, I'm sure you have already heard of this the breaking news story, but the Eminem mascots have decided to team up with Snickers! That's right, they have appeared in a commercial for Snickers, and guess what? Everybody is freaking out! Everybody is freaking out! Matter of fact, matter of fact, I don't come here! Oh boy. My, uh, my younger brother Adam is going to come out here, and he's going to have his thoughts on uh, the whole thing. Hold on one second. Adam, come here. Adam, have you heard of the uh, Snickers bar? What, what do you want? Oh, did you know that the Eminem's mascot appeared in a commercial for Snickers? Why they appeared in that uh, stickers commercial? I mean, seriously! Eminem mascots should only promote Eminem. Stickers should have its own mascot, right? The stickers bar should have its own mascot. So why did uh, the stickers uh, bar have to resort to being promoted by Eminem? Sometimes they do cross pro, 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 I cool. What, whatever. Yippee! But here's a few criteria for that. Check it! Is it a Eminem flavored snicker? Nope. Is it Eminem but the snicker? Nope. Why? I have no idea! It was slow news day, I guess! Ladies and gentlemen, that ain't make a singular lick of sense. Perry, let me run it down like this. Oh, hello, orange. Hello, green. Money. Stupid, bruh. Freaking 
And then you got the sniggles and I'm half steaming up in there. And, and they didn't even work the uh, flavors either. I mean, golly. Oh, man. Folks, that is it for another episode of Week Now Update. The ending experiments will be coming your way right now. Enjoy the ending experiments. And enjoy the weekend. I'll see you on Monday for a brand new episode of Week the Update. That's the news. And I am out the floor by the wall. Here's some advice for you. Never watch the ending experiments on empty belly. So get something to eat and enjoy the ending experiments. You'll thank me for it later. Thanks, Question Freighties. You know what's just as good? As candy? That's right. The Random Box with Knuckles. Are you ready for another episode of the Random Box with Knuckles? <laughs> hey! Then let's watch it together! Are you getting ready for Halloween? Are you ready for the Halloween candy? Well, you can answer those questions later. Right now, it's the Random Box with Knuckles! Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Random Box. I am Knuckles. Well, Halloween's coming up and a lot of people are afraid of Halloween. Wait, there's one thing that people love about Halloween, and you know what I'm talking about. That's right, it's candy. It's very yummy. Snickers, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, Butterfingers, Laffy Tabbies, and Hershey's Chocolates. And of course, my girlfriend Isabella Mercado loves candy more than anybody else. I bought a lot of candy for trick-or-treaters last week, but before I can even put them in a special place, Isabella and the head already eaten everything. She apologized to me for doing that, but I know that she loves candy. Of course, you can't have too much candy because it will not only make you obese and diabetic, but it will also give you lots of cavities. Now, it's okay to eat candy every now and then, but if you eat it all the time, then it'll be a huge problem, so try to pace yourself this Halloween. Well, I gotta go. My girlfriend's getting hungry again, and if she gets too hungry, <laughs> then I will be very scared, and so will you. See you next week. This has been The Random Box of Knuckles, a production of Catching Shoes and Naked Night. When well, life you breaks, we fix it. Hey, did Isabella Mercado eat all the Halloween candy I was going to give to all the trick-or-treaters too? This is getting ridiculous now. Have you ever wanted to try one of so many healthy fruits and vegetables? Well... I have, and it's so hard for me to choose a favorite. So, you get to absolutely know what your favorite healthy food is by doing the healthiest food of the day, where Allie gets to talk about lots of healthy foods that'll be so good for your body. So, take it away, Allie! Hi. Now, the next healthy food of the day is a tomato. That's right, a tomato. Now, tomatoes are red and they lower your blood pressure, your cholesterol, and your chances of having heart disease. Now, here's a surprise. Now, some people say that tomatoes are vegetables, but in reality, they're actually fruit because they bear seeds, contain zero pits, and they grow from the ovary of a flower. Try saying that 35 times, huh? You should eat a tomato every day because it has vitamin C, vitamin K, and potassium, among other vitamins. And by the way, eating a tomato will help you get rid of inflammation. And nobody likes inflammation, am I right? And also, here's another fun fact. Tomatoes are excellent additions to uh, your salads. So, when you are making salads... Don't forget about the tomatoes, all right? Now, please eat a tomato this weekend, and I'll see you soon with another healthy food of the day. And that has been the...
the healthiest food of the day. <laughs> well, I gotta go. I gotta make a call of my best friend, Hop Hip. So, bye bye. <laughs> Hey, do not go into a haunted house. It will scare you forever. Watch Nick and Knight. Nobody will scare you here. Here's what we're going to do next week. Next week on The Kane Factor with Jessica Kane, Jessica Kane will teach you and your lover how to stay safe from the breakup clown with Craig Kilborn, Rosie Mercado, Jamie Foxx, Amanda Bynes, Keenan Thompson, Kel Mitchell, Lori Beth Demberg, Danny Tamborelli, and Dido. Then, Weeknight Update with Ellie Muller will be explosive because Ellie and his team will talk about Neve Campbell, Aaron Pierre, Maya Walsh, Halloween movies, and snakes. Yep, Halloween is rapidly approaching. Are you ready? See those shows and a bunch of other stuff next week on Nick at Night. When late night TV breaks, we fix it. So, the Eminem mascots decided to appear in a Snickers commercial. Man, I have seen weird stuff before, but that, by far, is the, the weirdest thing that anybody will ever see on this planet. Man! Hi everybody, it's all of us of the OCs here, and we are here at Ellie's show to know what we've learned today. Alright, you ready, OCs? Ready. Alright, let's go. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today and Ellie has a lot to say in his show. You see, we know that his word is for everyone, so now that our song is done, we'll take a look. I need to go to the bathroom! Uh, Yellow Yoshi, you can stop singing now. Oh, uh, right. Sorry! Take it away, Ellie! So, what did we learn? Well, we've learned that Snickers should really stop predicting uh, weird things. And we've also learned that the Eminem mascots should stay in their own lane. I mean, come on! Eminem mascots should only promote Eminems. Snickers should get uh, a mascot that will promote Snickers. That's it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. But before uh, I leave you along with the uh, rest of my team, here it is. Your musical performance time performance. Does everybody know what time it is? Well, gee, I love Song Bear. I clearly have no idea, including me. Yeah, me too. Well, it's time for a musical performance by Ellie. Huh. Hope he does good. Yep, he's always a good performer. That's right. So take it away, Ellie. It's musical performance time again. Close your eyes. Make a wish. Count to three.
That has been a musical performance. Yep. That was a really good performance by Ellie. Yeah, he did such a good job. I 100% agree. Yep, it's time to move on to the next segment. That's right. Hit it. And that has been another exciting episode of Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. And now it is time to hear some final thoughts of the villains. So... Good night, everyone. Should we call it a night? Might as well. Why leave? Yeah, the worst part is over. <laughs> Good TV that's static free. Nick at night is the place to be. Hello out there from TV land.